Yo guys, it's APF Gamer here, and welcome to a Minecraft Story Mode video. In this video, as you can see, we are going to be playing Minecraft Story Mode. And then Minecraft Story Mode is all about basically Minecraft but a story. And that's just so we have lots of time in the video to get into the story. Oh, this looks nice, so just let me turn down my sound a little bit. Is this the story? I'm not sure. I, no, it's not the story yet. I need to press play first, obviously. So there we go. Now let's actually get right into it. Now let's listen very carefully. Ooh, first I have to, <clears throat> first I have to like choose my character. Who do I want to be? How about I'm this guy, this guy, wait. How about I'm this guy, this guy looks pretty good. Okay. Now if I can just turn down the sound a little bit more. There we go. I think I'll still be able to hear the story. And here we go. Start episode one. And yeah, Minecraft story mode is basically about Minecraft, but story. It's like a story mode. So yeah, it's basically Minecraft with a story. So here we go. Here it comes. You can read. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost. Until all that remains are myths. Simply lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the far lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures on a brief and self evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have so long ago four heroes such as these. Gabriel. The warrior before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Well, that was pretty interesting. I hope you guys listen to that. Well, let's get right into the game then. So every time basically someone's talking, I'll just stop talking. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So you have to fight them. Okay, zombie. Okay, it's press circle. It's just a size zombie. Then I think. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave to move in here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't I think, think I picked chicken sized zombies. Yeah. Know? He kind of makes us look like. I don't know. Peep is. Uh, people love pigs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig? Like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being um, We aren't losers. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> oh, so this is basically right. like a multiple choice right. then. Did you hear that? That's what you get, Axel. 
I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Ruben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. He actually does. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's winging it. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Okay. So I basically, I think I just, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Shears definitely take me. I might. You know I might need to wait shear a some sheep. Okay, so anyways, guys, before I do anything, I might have to tell you, I might have to end the video when I'm in the middle of doing something, so don't freak out, because I have, I can only record for so long, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, end the video in, like, sorry if we're in the middle of something, but I have to, so let's look at this. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition, and when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, look at those Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. We should change the name. Hmm. Just walk around this room. Get anything. Here? Anything here? Triangle? Let's go to this. I got this stand as a gift, stand? but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. The pig. Let's try the pig. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That was weird. That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. So, how about we walk way over here? Go over to this side. We already looked in the chest. What about this painting? This banner? Gabriel the Warrior. Do you think we'll ever get that famous? It's not possible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Okay. So we can basically, I believe, just stay in this room then. It's in this chest. Hmm. Is it steel? Not too shabby? Okay, so, oh, that's how you switch. You do that. Okay, good. Okay, what about the trap doors? Oh, yep, we're going down a ladder. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two. According to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if you lose. Okay, you let's pick oh, square this, this time. This make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. Last yeah, Ruben actually looks hilarious. Track, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben winning. We basically have no chance. Circle the Faith, sun? Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little face. This is pretty interesting. Need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? 
We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Endermen are cool. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? Okay, it looks like we're Let's building an Enderman. Let's get to grabbing them. We're so prepared. We can't lose. We're not. Bring it in. Stand and prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is very cowards. That's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare. Okay then, so I guess we're gonna be building an Enderman then, if you were wondering. Okay, now looks like I'm punching down this tree by holding X. Okay, doing push-ups. Guess we're getting all ready. Riding a squid. Square. Doing these types of push-ups. Punching flowers. Doing sit-ups. Now we are mining. Shearing sheep. I wonder what we're gonna use the foot and steel for. Punching wood again. Didn't know you could cut down trees with your fists in life. Good, looks like we're all ready. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you like this Minecraft story mode series. I'm going to be doing it for a lot. For a, I'm, Yeah, I'm going to be doing Minecraft story mode series. So, yeah, I hope you like it because I'm going to be continuing it if you like it. Nice pig, loser. Did he just call us a loser? There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, we've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Well, anyways, guys, I just turned down the sound there because, yeah, I am going to have to end the video now. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this Minecraft Story Mode series. I hope you really liked it. And I will be continuing it probably. So, yeah, I'll just put kick. Um, I'll just quick circle. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next series. Bye guys. Or in the next video. Bye.